bigger than 117 S-Class Mercedes. More horsepower than 24 Ferrari 458s. And more exciting than a circuit of the Nürburgring in a Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Serenity is the world's largest high-speed production super yacht. Built at the Overmarine shipyard in Italy, they used advanced composite construction to create a hull that could withstand stresses of biblical proportions, as this 285 tons of cutting-edge technology and seven-star luxury accommodation is jettisoned forward by three engines, totaling over 13,000 horsepower. Serenity has the heart of a beast in the body of a beauty. And she's just become available for sale. I must admit, I've been looking forward to filming this video and to representing the seller of this yacht for quite some time now. You see, there are yachts that put a smile on the face of a yacht buyer because they make him relax and feel pampered. Other yachts put a smile on their face because they just look so cool. The Mangusta 165 is a yacht that takes that smile and turns it into an insane grin because not only does she have both of those other characteristics, but she performs and she handles in a way that seems to defy the laws of physics, or biology for that matter. To use a line from the film Baywatch, it's like a dolphin got together with a jet ski. The top speed of Serenity is relatively easy to explain. A highly developed hull shape allows the bow of the yacht to lift as it starts to pick up speed. Naturally, this reduces the resistance from the water because less of the hull is in contact with the water. But then, long, angular ribs called chines that protrude slightly from the hull allow the entire vessel to lift so that even less surface area is in contact and the yacht is almost flying over the water. This is, in fact, called planing. So, put enough horsepower into a yacht, give it the right hull shape, Make sure it's strong enough to resist the stresses and you can achieve a remarkable speed. With regards to manoeuvrability, Overmarine favour water jets for the largest model in their open range. This means that the yacht does not depend upon propellers and rudders to steer, but instead it's equipped with these large buckets that point in the direction that the yacht needs to be propelled in, and then they push it forward in that direction. It is a tremendously efficient system and makes a yacht even as big as this tremendously agile. Take a moment to look at just what that propulsion system is moving though. This is not like a dragster where everything's stripped out to gain greater speed and you need to wear fire retardant overalls inside. No, in a Mangusta 165, you can wear your best Loro Piano suit or Givenchy cocktail dress because this is finer than the finest seven star hotel. The master stateroom is splendidly appointed with absolutely no compromise as far as the quality of the fixtures and the fittings is concerned. Exquisitely executed cabinetry adorns a palatial floor space with sumptuous marbles and granites adorning the spacious ensuite bathroom. Serenity was built, in fact, with five luxury staterooms for the owner and his guests to relax in. Each cabin is different from the other so that any combination of guests can be catered for. This is considered to be the VIP stateroom, located forward of the guest accommodation area. 
It is as beautifully appointed as the owner's stateroom, although a little smaller. But just look at the way that Overmarine have maximized the use of space to offer this truly spectacular ensuite bathroom. The main deck lounge is not exactly compromised either. Exquisitely varnished Wenge cabinetry marries luscious leathers and mild maple in a triumph of interior architecture that is as relaxing to the eye as it is to the body and soul. Personally, I wouldn't be wearing a Laura Piana suit or a Givenchy cocktail dress for that matter. I would be out here enjoying the seemingly endless deck space. I mean, just look at it. You can kick back on the aft sofa or play cards in the shade, fine dine with friends, or just sit quietly watching the wake as you leave port to go to more exotic destinations. And that is just on the aft deck. The foredeck on Serenity is a whole new experience, more suited perhaps for sunbathing or more intimate dining and socialising. Certainly, with a table built to seat 12 people perfectly comfortably, it's hard to see just how the layout could be improved. And just in case you don't want to get too much out of your normal routine, the owner of Serenity has made the most of his yacht's flybridge by adding some modern gymnasium equipment so that he can work out enjoying a stunning panorama. Certainly better than the car park that I can see at my gym. Now I know that I do use a lot of hyperbole when I talk about this yacht, but let me tell you, it does come from a place of very sincere admiration that I have for the shipyard that built Serenity. In my opinion, any company that can take an object the size of a house and make it float in the water, put a nice kitchen in it, beautiful cabinetry, an audio video system, air conditioning, electrics, plumbing, and then add engines to it so that it moves through the water. I take my hat off to them, it's, it's a lot more than I could do. Overmarine though have taken each one of those points and excelled at them. The cabinetry is of the finest quality imaginable. The air conditioning is powerful and silent. The AV system is state of the art. This is a yacht that has the best tableware and the finest cut glass crystal and yet can hurl through the water at 40 knots. That's like taking your house and moving it at 46 miles an hour over a ploughed field. Just imagine the state that your belongings would be in after. Thank you. 